The hype is growing. The speculation is swelling. The Twitterverse is tweeting. The nerds are in conclave. For Lord Musk is poised to hand his latest and greatest triumph yet. Next month, Elon Musk, the CEO of the Tesla electric car company and the billionaire founder of SpaceX, will release details of what he says will revolutionize the future of human transportation, allowing you to travel from New York to LA in less than an hour. It's called the Hyperloop. So the Hyperloop is the wild, wildest thing yet proposed by this uh, man who's known for making wild propositions. Uh, but we don't know a whole lot about it yet. He's kind of dropped a number of details here and there, and we've had to kind of filter them out and collect them. We know that he says that it will cost one-tenth of what it would cost to make a high-speed rail train. We know that he thinks that it will take half an hour to get between LA and San Francisco once he's got this up and running. He says it'll be a combination of a Concord jet, a rail gun, and an air hockey table. It's kind of amusing. Uh, <laughs> but he also says that it will, be, it will be entirely safe, it will be uninterruptible, and that it's entirely feasible. So clearly the tech press and those outside of it have been scrambling to try to put these pieces together. He has made a few other additions to that. He said that it's not a back train, which seemed to be the most obvious um, answer. And maybe our uh, fellow peers here can comment further on that. But he says, explain no, just, you, just sorry to interrupt. Just explain what a vac train is. So a vac train is this other equally maybe a wild idea where you take a tube and you you create a vacuum with it, and either using. Uh, you know, maglev tech where you suspend a pod or a car uh, within that tube, you can then propel it in this frictionless environment. Uh, and theoretically, you can get it to go very, very fast. So everybody's asking this question of where's my flying car? And it's, uh, it, it was actually, when they ask that question, they're asking where is a car that's affordable to the average person, that the average person can get in and, and navigate themselves. And uh, comes with all the safety features we expect in being able to drive on a two-dimensional surface. Uh, so they're asking for lots more than what it sounds like at the surface. And, uh, and so that's been a lot harder problem to solve than uh, people thought when uh, uh, the Curtis Air Car first came out in 1917. And the thing about trains is that they're also, they're, not, they're pleasant. They're very, it's a nice, I would rather, you know, sit in a car, uh, in, in a train that's moving at a consistent speed than even a driverless car that's kind of uh, uh, bopping around. You know, I think I still think you're going to get more efficient and faster travel with the train uh, than you can. Even, even, if, even if once you get to that hub, you can then summon your Google zip car or whatever that'll get you the last couple miles. Mm. But I think the, the mass transit is, is it should be, should be our focus, I think, in, in planning for an efficient, uh, comfortable uh, transportation future.